All right, so this is a uh, some follow-up video on the the uh, AT the computer issues, the electrical issues with the car. So I got two computers here. This one I got off eBay for 99 cents. It's a 98 neon five-speed. So when you get something like this off eBay for 99 cents, I would kind of be a little wary. But uh, I've tested it out and it actually works. Um, that's the ATX computer. This is the 96 um, automatic transmission computer. So I was going to show you how it works, the engine code it gives me, um, because it is the automatic. And then I'm going to give you a few suggestions of what you can do. Then I'm going to swap out um, the 5 speed here and show you what it tells me. Um, so anyway, uh, let me get in the, in the car and fire it up. Okay, so since I never did a video where I actually showed you that I was able to drive the car. So let me show you, the brown and yellow wire right now is not grounded. The neutral start switch, whatever, it's not grounded. So naturally, the car won't start. Which makes sense. Now, since it's spliced in with the clutch pedal, well, the switch that's down there that, you know, you can't see, it's too dark, but, um, so I'll push the clutch all the way in. And the car starts up just fine. And there's an engine code. So, let me show you what that engine code is. That's how you check it. Just turn it on the ignition key on and off three times and it'll display it for you. So we'll blink once. One, two. What that means is the battery's recently been disconnected and then you can largely ignore that code. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five six and seven that is torque converter lock up solenoid is shorted or open circuit two three four five one two three four five that means the codes are done so the only code it's throwing is the uh, torque converter lock up because it is open or shorted because it's not hooked up into the torque converter because I don't have one anymore. Um, now a suggestion um, I was given on neons.org is you can either take out the torque converter from the automatic transmission or splice in a resistor with a similar resistance. Um, that way the car will think the torque converter's lockup solenoid is on the car and then just put it somewhere underneath the car. I haven't done that yet, but um, either way, um, let's t take it for a little test drive here. Okay, so we'll fire it up again. And there's the, uh, well, there's my Burger King, but there's the uh, stick that I installed, so. Probably isn't the safest thing to be doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, just waiting for that car. So, just going to drive it around the block. That's on. So I'm gonna try to get it up to 30 miles an hour here. So the cruise control's on. My foot's off the pedal. So cruise control's on. Holding steady at about 35. Um, 
And let me tell you that now I'm gonna go and ground the brown and yellow wire. I'm gonna push in the clutch. So it just disengaged the um, the cruise control. So that's why that brown yellow wire needs to be grounded to start it, but then ungrounded in order to use the cruise control. So anyway, that's just a short little visit here. Um, but once again, like I said, the, that is how the ATX responds, or the ATX computer responds to, uh, to the car, um, which appears once again only to be that brown yellow wire, so I'm just going to go in and park it and swap out for the manual.